Hello everyone, Jim Carries of Smiles for Cinephiles here again. As a quick follow up to my first train spotting video, I wanted to point out one scene that Danny Boyle choreographed in homage to a classic work of art. Tommy's Wake is a representation of Leonardo da Vinci's The Last Supper. The camera moves in on the group around the table. A slight pan and the main characters are shot all together in the centre of the frame. All are seated at the table. The mood is sombre. Renton is sat in the position of Judas Iscariot. In The Last Supper, he is the only person cast in shadow. His sinister motive cloaked in darkness, Renton is similarly the only person shot in this manner in the scene. Judas has been portrayed as a thief, Renton is one too. And Pilate washed his hands. The betrayal of Jesus was sealed with the infamous Judas kiss. Begbie refers to Renton as Rent Boy. This is a term used to describe a male prostitute. Hey, rent boy. A man that can be bought with money. Bring me down a fucking cigarette. Find the bag. He's 30 pieces of silver. Trainspotting portrays this in a manner befitting its theme. The kiss of a cigarette passed from the betrayer to the betrayed. A kiss of smoke is blown back at him. Renton constructs a wooden cross. Judas did not literally do this, but he did set Jesus up for his crucifixion. Now, Begbie is sat in the position of Jesus. To say Jesus and Begbie are opposites is an understatement, but they are both definitely betrayed. Are there any other similarities between Begbie and Jesus? Begbie, as Jesus did, suggests at the Last Supper that one person present will betray him. It was a verbal nod from Jesus, a real nod from Begbie. Begbie is upset by disrespectful chatting in the chapel. He offers advice as to how to live morally. Cut that shade to it forever. And his body is a temple. No way would I poison my body where I shade. He is arrested by the authorities. Bobbies instead of centurions, of course. And Begbie is also put on trial and imprisoned. Train spotting does have other religious references too. The group's shooting gallery is at Mother Superior's character named as a nun in reference to his drug habit and who also wears a crucifix. Spud is in Peter's position. Spud is the rock of the group, as was Peter. Faithful, dependable, Spud isn't the brightest star in the galaxy, but he doesn't let his friends down. Gail is in the position of John. No, this is not Mary Magdalene. John is a young man and has just been painted to be particularly feminine. Sick Boy is seated in Thomas's position. Thomas has his finger raised as a symbol of how he proves Jesus is who he says he is. Doubting Thomas, so named as he does not believe Jesus will be resurrected. Upon his death, Thomas puts his finger inside Jesus's wound and accepts him as the son of God. Sick Boy instead has a raised cigarette. According to Wikipedia, the director Danny Boyle was raised in a Catholic family and now considers himself a quote, spiritual atheist. This scene is most likely a bit of artistic license rather than a religious statement. This scene is a foreshadowing of the story's plot. By using a familiar image and its subliminal association, Boyle hints to the audience a betrayal is to come. If you are paying attention, that is. Be sure to subscribe if you like this video. Check out my other work on this channel. Like it and please let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.